Once known as the pensioner's paradise, Bengaluru has transformed into a city plagued by distress, primarily due to its escalating water crisis. Summer is yet to set in and the city is already grappling with acute water scarcity, affecting numerous areas with disrupted supply and soaring prices for water tankers, upon which 60% of its population relies. The root causes of Bengaluru's water woes are multifaceted, including rainfall deficits, depletion of bore wells, diminishing groundwater levels, inadequate infrastructure planning, and reportedly, the monopolistic practices of water tanker mafias. The Bangalore Water Supply and Sewage Board, which is responsible for the city's water supply, heavily depends on the Kaveri River. Yet, the city's access to Kaveri water is limited, forcing many to depend on bore wells or private tankers. Despite receiving approximately 1,450 million litres of water daily from the Kaveri, Bengaluru faces significant shortfall, necessitating reliance on costly private tankers. Residents report a dramatic increase in prices, with some spending up to 6,000 rupees monthly on water, a stark rise from the previous 700 rupees. The situation is exacerbated by allegations against tanker vendors for exploiting groundwater resources unsustainably and prioritizing wealthier clients. Suppliers justify the price hikes by citing increased fuel costs and the necessity of traveling longer distances for water. No, already we are uh, discussing, already the meetings are going on. We are conducting a meeting and uh, we are uh, uh, sorting out the problems of drinking water in Bangalore. Compounding these issues is Bengaluru's rapid population growth. The city's development has led to the loss of 79% of its water bodies and 88% of its green cover over four decades, significantly impacting its ecological balance. In response, the Siddharamaya government has emphasized the construction of the Mekidatu Dam on the Kaveri River as a key solution despite facing political hurdles with Tamil Nadu. Additionally, the government has earmarked 200 crore rupees for enhancing drinking water infrastructure and is exploring ways to deepen bore wells to mitigate the crisis.